Hi everybody, this is Professor Zucker. First, a disclaimer. I'm not using an external microphone, so there will be a lot of noise, and particularly when my pen touches the screen on this tablet PC, you'll hear a lot of tapping, and it's very disconcerting. But it's the best I can do for now. So there are three interesting properties of the counting numbers which very few people know about outside of math enthusiasts like me. Each counting number, namely 1, 2, 3, 4, and so on, can be classified as deficient or abundant or perfect. It all depends upon the sum of the proper divisors of the number. Let me first clarify that the divisors of a number are the numbers that divide evenly into the number. And the proper divisors of a number are the divisors that are smaller than the number itself. Let's take 8, for example. The divisors of 8 are the numbers that divide evenly into 8. They would be 1, 2, and 4. And 8 itself. But 8 is not a proper divisor of 8 because the proper divisors have to be smaller than the number itself. So the proper divisors of 8 are 1, 2, and 4. Let's add them up. 1 plus 2 plus 4 equals 7, which is less than 8, and for that reason, we say 8 is a deficient number. Now let's try 12. The proper divisors of 12 are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 does not divide evenly into 12, 6 divides 12, and the only other number that divides 12 is 12 itself, but the proper divisors must be less than 12. Now we'll add them up. 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 6 equals 16. And 16 is greater than 12. So we say 12 is abundant. So what do you think a perfect number is? I bet you thought right. A perfect number is a number whose proper divisors add up to the number itself. The first perfect number is 6. It's easy to see why. The proper divisors of 6 are 1, 2, and 3. If we add them up, 1 plus 2 plus 3, we get exactly 6, the same as the number we started with. Therefore, 6 is perfect. Now it's your turn to determine if a number is deficient, abundant, or perfect. Stop the video and do the work for the numbers 14, 18, and 28. Then restart the video to check your answers. Here are the answers. 14 is deficient because its proper divisors, 1 and 2, and 7 only add up to 10, which is less than 14, which is too little. So 14 is deficient. Eighteen is abundant because its proper divisors are one and two and three and six and nine. 
and they, they add up to 21, which is too much. 18 is abundant. Twenty-eight. Well, Twenty-eight is perfect. Its divisors are one and two and four and seven and fourteen, which add up to twenty-eight. Twenty-eight is perfect. Students sometimes ask me, so what can you use this for? I always bristle at this question. Math isn't always about balancing checkbooks, building bridges, or sending rockets to Mars. Math is an eternal subject that has stimulated the hearts and minds of people throughout history. The search for perfect numbers began in ancient Greece more than 2,300 years ago. By 1963, when I was 11 years old, only 22 perfect numbers were known to mankind. They are amazingly rare. Now, in 2012, due to high-speed computers, we know of 47 perfect numbers. The largest known perfect number was found just four years ago and has millions of digits in it. Isn't it exciting to think that perfect numbers are so rare? Maybe someday someone will find a use for perfect numbers, but I don't need a use for perfect numbers. I rejoice just the same.